Hi everyone, this is Debbie with Plan to Repeat. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. Uh, today I'm going to be doing something that I've been putting off for a long time. <laughs> and uh, it's uh, making a, a little recipe book for, for myself. Um, this is just for me. Nobody else is going to be using it. Um, but I became vegan a couple of years ago. Um, and I go through cycles of different recipes that I like, um, and then, um, then I go and I decide that I want something else. I want something different, you know, something for my taste buds. Anyway, I have, um, <laughs> this is embarrassing. All right, I have this. Um, <laughs> this is what I've been using, um, to store all of my... My recipes in um, from before I went vegan but there's there's just they were all just shoved into the, the corresponding page that it was supposed to be in <laughs> and so yeah uh, there was a couple of them where I just wrote it and stuck it down on there um, another where I, I uh, printed it out uh, let's see well actually I just wrote it down um, then I printed them out and poked holes in it. This is from Happy Planner. Uh, this was their Happy Planner recipes book. Um, I really liked it when I got it, uh, but it uh, honestly is not big enough. Um, and then the the classic size is too big. This one is just perfect. It's just perfect. It's just a little bit bigger than this one and a little bit smaller than the classic size. So this is what I want. This is the size I want. Um, so I went back and forth about whether I should print out stuff and I thought, you know what, you know, if I'm in a hurry, then if I, if I write it out by hand, it, it's going to be messy. Okay, uh, and I, I can't be consistent with my writing. I, I try, but you know, I'm, I'm just not. I'm not consistent. Uh, and I thought about printing it out and then cutting it to size and putting it in like this. This is one of my favorite um, recipes. Quinoa breakfast bars, they're awesome. Um, but that's not going to work either. Uh, not for me anyway, because look, it's it's different pages. It's one, two, let's see, how many pages are there? Three, four. Four pages. Um, and that, that just doesn't work if you're in the middle of a recipe and you have to say, wait a minute, I need to change the, switch the page so that I can see what the rest of the ingredients are. It just doesn't work for me. So, uh, I decided I was going to make my own and then uh, and I decided I was going to do use it in this which I love my composition notebooks I, I use them for everything um, and so I decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to print them to a size that's actually um, fits uh, this paper so I'm going to go through, a lot of these papers will only print it on one side, so I'm going to go through them and reprint them on the back side, and hopefully I can, um, I'm trying to find the rest of this recipe because I just took it away from where it was. Oh, how embarrassing. Oh, that's, oh, that was the whole thing. Duh. All right. So, <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to print them to where they fit. This one probably will fit on there. Let's see. Um, yeah, that should fit. Okay, so that's that's my next goal is to find the recipes. I've been doing some searches on recipes that to, that sound yummy to me. Now I'm not going to put recipes in here until I've tried them. And I like them and I want to try them again then I'm gonna put them in here so it may be an ongoing thing I mean all recipe books that I've had were like that okay so what I'm gonna do first is what I've already done is I've gone through and I glued um, two pages together boom boom uh, I thought about just having one page 
because there's a uh, there's a hundred sheets in this. Uh, but I thought with the added um, weight of these recipes added to it, I was afraid that the the part where it meets the uh, the notebook would become flimsy and uh, and might tear. Okay, so that's why I glued uh, two pages together. So what I have basically is uh, 50 pages now. And um, next I am going to put um, dividers and cover the front and back. Now, I went back and forth on what, what dividers to have. Um, so I decided I'm going to have salads. Uh, side dishes, main dishes, breakfast, and dessert. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So that's five uh, sections in the book. And some of them aren't going to be needing to be as big as others. So there's that. All right. And then these are the pages that I decided to put in there. I like um, the 50s. Uh, no, I was not born in the 50s. <laughs> I wasn't born until the 60s. So, but I like the designs from the 50s. I think they're so cute, you know, and they're, they're happy kind of colors, that kind of thing. So I went through and I picked out ones that I thought might look good in there. And for the front, um... I'm, I'm between these three right here. Now, I love these stripes. They're very bold. I love the VW bus. It's the bomb diggity. It says 56 on there. Awesome. Then we've got this one where it has the diner, you know, pointing, eat at Joe's. That kind of, you know, plays off of the food. You know, there are lounges and motels in here too, but if I fit it, where is it? To fit the cover, it won't have too much of the hotels and stuff in there. So, I don't know. It's either those two or I also like this one. Where is it? Right here. I also like this one. It says, stay sassy. <laughs> I like that as well. So, that would go, I guess, like right here. I like that. Stay sassy. I don't know. I'm kind of, I, I kind of like feel like I have to put this one on because, you know, it says diner and food and cafe, you know, that kind of thing. And well, you know, this is, you know, my recipe book. So I'm thinking maybe I'm just obligated to go ahead and put it, put this on there. What do y'all think? I'm listening. What do you think? Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and not do do this one because I I really like this one and this one I I don't necessarily like this one as much as this one but it's got shimmery on it <laughs> and it says diner and cafe I don't know I think maybe I could put it on the side like no that wouldn't look right all right, I'm going to use this one on the front. I heard ya. I heard ya. All right, so this is going to be on the front. And then how many were uh, topics? It was one, two, three, four, five. So I need five dividers besides the cover. All right, so I'm going to keep this one because I love it. And this one. So I need three more, right? Three more for inside. And all of these go together, the, the colors do anyway. Um, I'm thinking I should go ahead and put the watermelon because, you know, it's food. And cherries are too. So one more. I think I'm going to put this one on the back because, you know, 45 records just scream 50s. 
so I'm going to put that on the back. So one of these three would be the last one. I love these dots, but this one has has sass. So <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to pick this one. All right. So we've made those choices, and let's see what. What order should I put them in? This side is really cute too, but I, it's just too much pink for me. Alright, so where's my sassy girl? There's my sassy girl. Alright, so I'm going to put my sassy girl first. Well, no. I want this one first because it's bold. I'm going to put this one first. So this is my bold one. Then I'm going to have the sassy girl. Then her sunglasses. And then... The watermelon and the cherries, I think. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do with these. Okay. So the next thing that I'm going to do, and y'all know that I do not measure these things. <laughs> nope, I do not. I do not measure them. Um, so literally what I do is I put something sticky on here and I plop this on. And that's what I do. And then I cut around it because... That's just the way I am. All right, and if y'all have been following me, y'all know that I like to use the double-sided sticky tape on here. Uh, just, I don't know why, it just makes me feel as though um, it's going to really stick on there. Uh, I've used um, uh, glue stick as well, and you can use that if you want to. But I would not uh, suggest a liquid glue. Like, um, uh, let's see, like, like Elmer's glue or tacky glue. I would not suggest them uh, just because this is paper. And my preference uh, with paper is not to use a wet glue. Um, I've had really bad experiences with wet glue on these. Um, they tend to uh, uh, wave really bad, um, and I'm I'm not I'm not going to do that uh, because I choose not to. If you choose to use a wet glue, you do you, um, and more power to you because it's your book. You do it the way you want to do it, right? I'm doing this the way I want to do it. So, I do it all along the edges. And then I just do a couple in the middle. So that the middle sticks. I don't have to cover the whole thing. Oh, you know what? I didn't take a picture of this. That's alright. Okay. So. I am going to put this on and show you how I do it. Do y'all use uh, your own recipe books, or do you use? Um, do you just look it up online? I've got a lot of old recipe books that uh, that I've had through the years, but you know what? I have not looked inside of those in a long, long time, and I think it's about time that I look at them and see what's going on with those because if I'm not going to use them I can use them for other things I can uh, deconstruct them and uh, and try to um, give them a new life you know this is not going to come off easy there we go wow <laughs> it's it's like I'm not coming off of here I'm comfortable it's funny okay so anyway um yeah, I, I I was looking for a recipe the other night. This is this is how this came about, and um, I pulled out my book that has all my all my recipes in it, and I and I was commiserating out loud, thinking, "Oh my goodness, you know, I I don't know where any of my recipes are because they're all just shoved in this book, and uh, the book is not being used the right way." 
you know it's it's a waste of space if i'm not going to use it the right way you know what i'm saying oopsie i just leaned up over this so um that's my point that's my point of reference that's the reason why i decided to do this um yeah this is something that's a long time coming and you know i mean these days with the internet and everything you can just look stuff up and put it on your phone or a tablet or something and then just read it right well if i find a recipe that's how i look for recipes if you know to find something like i've got these three ingredients what can i make with them do y'all do that um so i do that and then i it sounds good so i go ahead and i make it and i think oh this is really good i think i'm gonna you know make this again so i uh i print it out and here, here what i'm doing right now is i'm trying to <laughs> put this on as evenly as possible okay matching the bottom and the side Whew. That was close, wasn't it? Okay, let's see. I'm going to open it up and see how it looks. Not bad. Look at that. Pretty even. All right. So, so I literally just... Now, I normally butt it up the, against the edge. So, this, this, is, this is different on how I normally do it. So, let me cut off the excess right here. And then we'll deal with that one. This is just how I normally do one of my composition notebooks, you know, I, I just, I do it the same way I always do. Well, you know what, maybe I can just glue this on here. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, this a little bit with my bone folder and then maybe just glue it on here and then use it like that that way I don't have to worry about it and I can just stick some extra on the back here that'll work that's what I'm gonna do yep that's what I'm gonna do Woohoo! all right so what I'm gonna do oh this is not straight look at that you cut by hand you, you're not straight as an arrow I'm not anyway so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it on the paper this time so that I know that it's gonna stick on there all right let me put it on the edges And you need to worry about, not worry, but think about uh, where it's going to be bending uh, over the edge. That's why I stuck it right there so it will adhere to it and it won't uh, move when I open the, the front because it's made to move. You know, this part right here, it's made to move. It's right here. So I'm going to stick it right on there so that that part We'll move with it okay all right one more at the top okay and then a couple down the middle I don't know if y'all can hear it or not but it's raining here in uh, middle Tennessee so if you hear raindrops that's why <laughs> All right, let me put some of this stuff away. Okay. That'll save me some extra paper for not putting it on the back side. This just does not want to come off today. I'm thinking I've had this uh, sticky tape for a long time. And it may have uh, come close to its uh, its use. 
It's Hughes time. It's Hughes date. Because, <laughs> you know, the, well, you don't know. Uh, my studio is not, uh, the temperature is not regulated like uh, the rest of my house. So uh, during cold weather, you know, the, the room gets cold. And then during hot weather, it gets hot. Um, when I come back here, then I'll turn on a heater or, you know, an air conditioner or whatever during whatever season it is, but, um, a lot of times if stuff isn't, you know, put away in, like, drawers or storage boxes or something, then they get, uh, they have the temperature difference up, uh, on it, so I think this, this has been sitting on my desktop for about a year, so it's been through a lot of different, uh, temperature changes. D does your, uh, uh, craft area do that or is yours part of a another room in your house this is the only spot I could use so I'm taking it <laughs> uh, we, we do what we can with what we've got right okay so this is almost good grief okay last piece I'm just going to use this. There we go. All right. That took forever, didn't it? All right. So I'm just going to mold it and push it down. Okay. Now this is a little bit over the edge. So I'm going to trim it. down on the edge right here to make sure that sticky tape, that um, double-sided tape stays on there. Okay. Let's see. I can hear it popping. Yep. It doesn't like being there. Alright, I may have to change that. But right now, I'm just bending it down. I may change that. Okay. All right. So, um, next, what I'm going to do is the same exact thing for each one of these. Okay. And then I'll be right back. Okay. So, I've got this pretty much finished, but I wanted to show you, um, one last part uh, that I that I normally do, and I wanted you to see because somebody asked me, a couple of somebody's asked me how to do it. And you notice that you can see the uh, the black edge here. I couldn't stand it, so <laughs> I literally had to tear it off. I had to tear it off in little in pieces, um, but I just couldn't stand it crinkling the way it was. Uh, I haven't put anything on the back yet. I probably will because this is torn up, um, but like I said uh, before many times, uh, I don't normally put anything on the back because I don't look at the back, you know, so that's just a personal preference, but I'll probably take um, the leftovers from all of the pieces that I've uh, cut uh, today, and I'll probably just stick them on the back just so that I have a use for them, uh, the ones that I'm not crazy about anyway. So, I did that. And I feel much better about myself. <laughs> um, I will probably um, ink up the here. Let me go ahead and do it now. Um, I've been using the gathered twigs for the last few uh, projects, and I really like them, like the color. So I'm just going to continue to use it. Oh, look at that. Okay, I'm going to. Take uh, the edge off of here because I don't like that on there. There we go. Okay. Some people do. I don't. Not on these anyway. It just doesn't look like a 
composition notebook to me unless it has uh, curved edges. But that's just me. You do you if you like the, the square edge. That's okay. All right, so what I've done is I went through and um, put the paper on each of the uh, places that where they needed to be. Since I had 50 pages, I just went with 10 pages each. So every 10 pages, I put a divider. Um, I used my label maker. Let me get my label maker and show you. This is my label maker. It's a Dymo. I got it for, I, I don't remember, Christmas or something, I think, from my husband. Um, so I made uh, the labels and I have a, a punch for um, these and the, the tabs. So I just made a tab and then I made the, the, uh, the labels for them. And then I just stuck them on with uh, double-sided stick tape. That's it. That's all I've done. Okay, and I did it for the breakfast, salads, side dishes, main dishes, and I also inked up all the edges. Did you see that? I inked up all the edges just because I like it. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. I just like that. All right, and then the last one is dessert, and I haven't put it on yet. I've had people ask me, how do you uh, sync these up, the tabs? And I literally just guesstimate where it should be, and then I put them on. Some people measure, some people start from the one end and, and do the second one, and then m move up to the middle, like that. I don't. Um, so I was going to show you what I did. I stuck some double-sided tape on the back of these. And so I'm going to take that off. And I have my stapler out to staple these uh, but I decided not to because I don't put a lot of um, pressure on these tabs normally uh, but if they do end up falling off I, I doubt it but if they do um, I'll just staple them okay so what I did was literally take the one before so this one would be the main dish and I eyeball it and think okay well that's a good um, space in between and so I just stick it on and that's it there's no magic involved so there are my my dividers the breakfast salad side dishes main dish and dessert okay um like i said i'll probably cover the back but this is mainly it i prob will probably put some kind of a um sticker here or some kind of a piece of paper or something that says debbie's Rep recipes or something like that um and if i do then i'll i'll uh, post a picture of that with the vi with this video but overall, I really like how it turned out. I'm very, very happy with it. Uh, next, all I need to do is decide on which recipes that I want to stick with. And then I'm going to put them in here. I do know, where was it? There was that one that was, a, um, what was it? Oh, it was those breakfast bars. Where are they? Here it is. These, the quinoa breakfast bars. I'm going to uh, find the recipe online, because these are really good, and uh, scale it to this page, this, this size page, and then I'm going to um, glue it on here, probably on this side. So that's it. That's, that's all I'm going to be doing with these. With this, I'm very glad that I finally did it. <laughs> so I'm not going to have uh, this falling around with all of my papers falling out. I literally had all of these uh, papers stuck in there like that and I was looking through it the other day looking, I think for this one, the uh, slow cooker pizza chickpeas and I went, this has got to stop. This is, I, I can't do this, you know, so I'm very, very, oh, 
this is the one that I was going to put on the back. This is the one. Okay. So, I'm so glad that y'all were able to stop by and hang out with me. This was a lot of fun. Uh, this is something that I've been meaning to do, and I'm glad that I did. And I'm glad that y'all were here to see me do it. If you have any questions or uh, suggestions, please leave a comment below. And if you haven't already subscribed, please click the subscribe button. It really helps my channel to grow. And don't forget, I do have an Etsy shop. Uh, this is not going to be in it, <laughs> but I'm adding to it uh, daily. So go check it out. I'm going to leave a link below so that you can check it out. Uh, I Like I said, it's new, so I'm trying to you know, get folks to, to check it out. Anyway, thanks for hanging out, and I will see you next time. Peace out.